So welcome to this series of questions about the general and practical principles of physics paper on the LXL syllabus. This is where you need to be really hot on your laws of physics and be ready to apply them straight away. And you're going to also need to be really hot on your experimental techniques and your data analysis. This question, anomalies that you're probably familiar with from GCSEs, I think you'll be fine. Then it's about being familiar with the techniques involved in using light gates for gravitational acceleration experiments. Okay, this is about the core practical to do with measuring gravitational acceleration. So he's dropping a object through a clear plastic tube. Okay, he repeats the experiment five times for his records of results. That's what you'd probably expect. Student incorrectly includes all the values when calculating the mean speed. So this should be ringing bells. I'm quite confident most of you could do this from your GCSE stuff. A second student thinks the true value of the mean speed is different. Explain whether the second student is correct. Well, we know he's correct. We're told that he shouldn't have included all the values. So really it's a case of recognizing that something is wrong here. Why is that one anomaly and not the others? Well, these are all in the point fives and early point sixes, but this is way down in the early point fours. So this is considerably lower than any of the others. So your first mark is just for pointing out that 4.43 is an anomaly. And well, what's the second mark here? Well, basically you're just saying that this therefore would be too low. So the mean calculated would be too low. Now, most of my students, when they've done this, they've actually just gone ahead and calculated the mean of those four results and given that. And that, I think, would be equivalent to that if you say the mean is this, which is slightly higher than 4.55. So here's where, for this um, practical skills exam, you're going to need to know all about all of your apparatus and a really clear way of explaining their advantages and maybe their disadvantages. So a light gate, okay, not just as simple as more accurate and eliminates human error. I might accept these on GCSE papers, but not for A-level. So these wouldn't quite get the marks. More accurate for very small times. Eliminates human error due to human reaction speed or reaction time. Think about learning a whole load of descriptions of the advantages and disadvantages of your apparatus. Think about learning all your methodologies about those core practicals for this exam in a great deal of detail. I hope that makes sense. You really got to memorize all of the details in your core practicals that you've done in the lesson or that you've read about loads in those textbooks.